So you guys wanted me to test this thing out, this dome from GoPro. That's exactly what we're going to do today. And I also have a really cool new thing I'm going to be trying. Underwater scooter, go! Okay guys, so we're at this wonderful location here in Belgium. It's one of the first dive spots I ever went to. You see, you see those people over there? They're just, they don't, they don't get the vlog life. They don't get the vlog life. So guys, the ID for today, let me take you into the shades. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is two things in that we are going to test the Go Dome. Well, GoPro Dome, Go Pole Dome. The dome that I showed you here and on the Instagram. And then later on, we're also gonna test out a scooter, a underwater scooter going with the dive gear and everything going into the water. That's gonna be rad, it's gonna be really cool. First time I've ever done that, and we're gonna see how that looks like. But first, let me tell you something about the dome. Okay, now while everyone is diving, in the meanwhile, we're gonna check out the Go Dome itself and see what it actually looks like. So basically what you see is what you get with this thing and what I think is really cool is that they actually include, let me try to get it out, they provide you with a super suit or a dive housing or whatever you want to call it but is actually included in this set and that's a pretty big deal because these alone they, they go around for like what 40 50 dollars each and then of course you have the go pole which is a dome and you put in your camera just like this. Now a few things I've learned with this is if you have um, the super suit which is the, the legit GoPro one it actually fits too so it doesn't matter if you take one of these however something that is different with the GoPro Hero 5 is that for the super suit which is from the Hero 5 you have to remove the lens itself so this protection lens um, which makes you don't get that much of a glare when you go into the water I remember these things going for like a few hundred bucks like two years ago but GoPro for a thing you're doing 70 bucks or something like that it's a pretty good damn price man I have tested it yesterday in the swimming pool just to get a little bit of a feel of what it looks like how it works and everything like that um, but basically you just put your GoPro in here and then all you need to do is attach a GoPro or a grip or something like that. What I feel is pretty sturdy and pretty legit is if you put it like this so you can always rest it to your body which is a pretty good if you want to have like a really steady shot, a really smooth shot, you know. And the key thing is here if you want, you want to have a dynamic picture and I found that it's pretty difficult to get. But what you can do is actually move like this into the water. So you get a nice uneven flow in the water and you not just have like a plain like layer of water being there. You get me? Guys, we're gonna take a look at the GoPro dome in a minute. See what the footage looks like, see what the pictures look like. But first, I'm gonna take that underwater scooter for a ride. Because it's almost time to go. I'm gonna take you guys with me on the GoPro. See you there.
guys, that's a wrap. I'm gonna see you back at my place in the studio. Let's see there. Hey peeps, so we're back inside and it's time to see if it's worth buying or if it isn't and what my thoughts are on this thing. Well, I'm gonna do this in a few steps. So, point number one, something I've found is that it's not ideal when you go into cold water and temperatures outside are really warm. There's a lot of air in here and if it gets warm, well the temperatures of the water are like a few 20 degrees or at Celsius by the way. You're gonna get a lot of fog coming in there so that's not ideal. But I think this would be really cool and really awesome to see in tropical waters for example. Point number two, it's really awesome but you have to make sure that the water level stays at the same level because if you do a little bit too much of that there are gonna be some drops over on the top side and you're gonna see that in your footage and it's annoying as hell, I can tell you. And number three, as I told you, it's not possible to use this thing underwater like few meters down or something like that because water will come in through the sides of the, the rubber seal and it's not going to be watertight for you anymore. Which brings me to the last point. It's totally badass. Yes, you heard it right. I haven't tested out the other brands, but from what I have experienced, what I have found is really cool shots. It's not the biggest, so you can take it with you wherever you go. It's not the heaviest, it's all, it's just the perfect form factor for me. Let me know if you guys have a dome already or you are looking for one and what brand you are using because I'm interested in these kind of things also. I wanna hear from you. For all the rest, all the new peeps, Welcome to the family. For everyone who isn't, hit that subscribe button somewhere in the corners. Stay creative, go with the flow, no, inspire yourself. Ooh, no, not for you.